All right, so this one we're going into is the hip thrust. Again, a little bit different from the CAS glute bridge in terms of just really the range of motion, where we're loading, where we're effectively loading there, and what we're trying to accomplish through the exercise. This one I really like to put in there to focus on more power, I guess you would call it, lower body as a whole, really trying to develop strength, and then again, being able to effectively load uh, uh, the glute in that length of position a little bit better. So the difference here is gonna be why don't we get set up, or as opposed to talking about the difference, let's just look at this as an exercise on its own, right, and make sure that we understand that that we are coming all the way down, yep, boom. And now we're gonna drive up through that zone. So now it's almost like we're coming down, right? And we wanna be effectively, you know, controlled through that eccentric. All and then the way, we're coming like right all back the up. Way? Yeah, we want to come all the way down, but again, that might be something where we have to manipulate the bench for somebody or the height at which they're set up there, right? Because now what we're doing here is it allows us to have that momentary stop and then think exploding exploding up, squeezing, and then slowly lowering it back down. Boom, stop, explode up, slowly lower it back down. Now again, with this one, what we're gonna see is at the top, we do want that knee over the ankle, right? So that we have that vertical shin, but as we come down, we're obviously gonna lose that. And now what that does is it's essentially gonna bring in these other muscles that are working as well. So it's more of a total lower body exercise. But again, we are going to load the glute pretty effectively, and we can learn a little bit of a better hip flexion, hip extension through an exercise size like this. The only other key thing here that we want to be considerate of is exactly like on the CAS glute bridge, that sternum should be coming with those hips. So you see as she comes down, as she comes down, the sternum's coming with it, right? Whereas some people, what happens is this stays here and then they're rotating backwards. That's no bueno. We don't want to do that. All right. But I think that's it.